How's it going guys? I'm retired here and today we'll be looking at Space Tyrant is an early access game that just came out this week uh, from Blue Wizard Digital. Uh, shout out to Nate, by the way, a fellow Canadian who is um, on the team at Blue Wizard Digital. Uh, so Space Tyrant is, like I said, an early access. It is a roguelike turn-based strategy game 5x uh, and apparently you can rule the galaxy or the universe not more like the galaxy uh, during your lunch time uh, so let's delve into it and see uh, how it is if you would enjoy it or not uh, I've already started basically when you start off the game kind of a little tutorial a mission um, how to move a fight uh, cards um, movement spaces and whatnot that so we'll just go into it um, as I'm playing here right now I'm playing the first uh, I'll say first faction the hoplite clan uh, and when you play the hoplite clan and as you go in missions you will get perks and those perks you'll have to choose um, obviously to see what you want at the end of the mission uh, I did the first mission in the hive worlds and as you can see, you're trying to destroy the Senate of the Galactic Senate. Uh, and if you can't, um, if you can't do the whole thing, all the missions, they will gain control of that uh, certain area of the galaxy. So Hive Worlds, Twisted Nebula, the uh, Burrowed Fields, and the Galactic Senate, obviously, right? So let's go. Just Let's just go take a look here. I'll do a first mission. Um, looks like I can't even choose Twisting Nebula. I can do that one. Or I can... And when you choose a mission, actually, it, it does tell you what you get. Uh, goals uh, is to control, research, quirks, uh, artifact and card uh, rewards. Um, I did this mission and you get a shiny scepter increases tyranny for capturing crystals and plus five defense to a control planet uh, so we can do this one uh, the goal is obtain victory through powerful generating or saving large amounts of credit uh, shouldn't be too difficult um, all depending on how you uh, use your military knight uh, and this one is um, Bitter tears and credits equal to uh, add one cruiser to a fleet for every barracks planet you control. Hmm. Let's try this one. It's just to show you guys, anyway. So obviously, you would have the perk. I only have one perk for now, uh, which is a medium ship specialist. Larger ships obviously take more energy for uh, skills to be activated. So I went for medium ship specialist. So it gives you one to two gain uh, plus fifteen percent HP. Um, and you have a hoplite deck. There's 21 cards. Um, you get more cards as it as as time goes. Anyways, uh, so let's see here. I can start off with a plus 10 starting credits, or I can do your commander starts with one power charged. Uh, since it's a mission is about credits, we'll go with that. And these ones, we don't have anything as of yet. Let's just start this up here. Uh, one thing to note is that even if you exit out of the game, uh, you can go back into the game and it just goes back to the starting point of where you left off. So there's nothing to really worry about if you're going to be losing everything. So Monopolize Resource Accomplished the following, generate 400 income in a single turn. Alright, so uh, let's see here. So this is your death ray. So blasting ships and capturing worlds raises your tyranny over the sector, while unrest reduces it each turn. If it reaches zero, your empire will rebel and you will lose. Uh, yeah. So once this actually uh, goes up, you can use a death ray, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to use this here. So uh, we start off with our ships, and our ships consist here of only of a couple of midgets. We have our cruiser. We have our destroyers right there and a frigate and we also have a carrier um, it's more about boarding party with space marines so if you're concentrating more on larger ships uh, this would be um, the way to go but I'm concentrating on more uh, cruisers and the smaller ships just for the moment we'll see what kind of perks we can get off uh, afterwards uh, 
So we're trying to get credits here so we can do the... Okay. I pressed prison, so let's just do the prison. Let's do it. So, if there's nobody at the node that you're uh, going to uh, and attacking, this is what's going to do. It's going to click to invade. So you have a dice. Just roll it. So after each time that you do something like that, um, you get missions, well, explorers at the lip of a promising cave, you're greeted by an android race which lives there with Cordial. While Cordial, they refuse your quest to enter, so you can either just threaten to destroy their home, lure them into a logic trap, take a diplomatic approach. Um, since I have diplomatic one, let's try this route and see what happens. Androids tell you a story on how they are leaving for this world, they allow you access to any resources they leave behind. Two, two cards? That's always good. So, if you have a maximum of cards, and it'll tell you that after a while, so you just have to be a bit more careful about what we're doing here. So, since we invaded here, we have more ships, so let's just go get some crystals. Let's see what you got. These are our space rocks. So, as you can see, you go over them, and this one has a geo shield, regenerate, volley, volley. So, let's just click here. And we choose a tactic at the beginning, so a static field, enemy shields at half. Um, close guards for all fighters. Ship rate. Um, let's just do this one here. So, we definitely need jump right there. Like that. And we'll go for our juice shield. very well because our ships suck ass. Well, this is definitely not going well. And we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose the and that's fine. You know, it's just to show you anyways. So I can add two frigates to the fleet. Um oh thanks because we have two crystals. We only have one here, so uh, we can get rid of a card. So let's just do this here. So we're not starting off very well, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's fine. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna buy uh, an extra ship here in the back. And we're gonna go get some crystals. Uh, I'm gonna go for regenerate right off the bat. So, we're not losing, but losing a lot, <laughs> per se. Okay. We won, but barely, to be honest with you. But that's not too bad. So, we can fade. If you only do one, it sucks, but you have to pass, you have to do another turn. Uh, for that. Um, so let's discard another card here. Cool, so we have more crystals. Let's just finish invading. And it sucks, but you're kind of skipping your entire thing just for that, unless you have multiple fleets. Explores again. 
Uh, to integrate themselves, the leaders of this will present you a coveted and driven criticism, renowned for their abilities as companions and lovers, it makes for a very tempting offer. <laughs> Seduce Senator. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, <laughs> let's choose that right now. And as you can see, now that we've had a breakthrough into our research, uh, we have to always decide. So, rapid reloading of missile ports allows for more shots, plus three shots per volley, or Jade Fortress. Upgrading building materials can greatly increase survivability. So, uh, as you can see at the beginning, they seem to be a bit more powerful, so we can go with Jade Fortress instead. And uh, now we do have more. Let's see. So this is the basic basis of the game. Uh, totally not gonna win this fight because look at that guy. Look at that guy. Um, let's just power up. Shield. Look at that, look at that. Oh. You can also just pass it if you want. I'm trying to get this guy to not die, but that's hardly possible. Not too bad. Uh, this is only your militia, but you can still upgrade it fairly high. Yeah. It's always what I'm showing you guys what's happening that really gets screwed. Um, Okay, so we had how much left? Okay, Instead of just using our turns, we can use cards. The advisor has determined this planet is a good candidate for improvements and experimental effects. Hack the planet. Do it. Sweet. Planet power added. Very nice. Alright, so we're gonna have our guys here. Yeah. And we're gonna have our guy here move uh, 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 another ship, obviously. So let's go there. Nice return. Everyone's being an ally. Which is second, seriously. Uh, definitely on this, plus 25 credits turn. Thank you. Uh, let's let's go for the forge here. Only two cross fingers. <laughs> there you go. Do it. Awesome. All right, exploring. So this is the base of it. It's um, either you go really slowly and trying to gain as much as you want, or you can just go towards what you need uh, for the mission. So I need 400 income per turn. I can just concentrate on that or just try to like own everybody, right? Uh, drawn to a remote location by unexplainable forces, you encounter a frog-like creature. You sense that it has become tired of this world, which is to relocate. Uh... <laughs> Yo, bye bye. Let's try that. That's a card fucker! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Alright, uh, let's go back here. Oh man. So the more the more this happens, the more it means that I have to beat more guys. Um so let's do this. So now the chase of three. Reactor upgrade, vast increased damage, plus 15. Aegis task with protecting the fleet. This crew will die before failing their tyrant, plus 10 defense per ship behind, or white beams. Larger flight deck allows for bigger squadrons, plus one. So I'm not really concentrating on this, so let's go for a plasma furnace. And we'll go towards one more fight, guys, just to, you know, just 
just for you to get the feel of uh, what needs to be done. Uh, let's go ahead and spend in my money, but uh, these are two fleets, so uh, screw you. Uh, we'll go here, fortify interlink node. Should be a harder, far harder fight. Yeah, most likely. Okay. Um, let's just this here. Um, okay, let's do this. Oh. Doing too bad here. Have to only... oh. So yeah, guys, it's pretty straightforward. You can go really fast if you want. You gain levels, and when you gain levels, your fleet size gets bigger, which is really good. And you really need that. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll use this. That's fine, whatever. Uh, let's just use another control card and add two. Right there. So that's free money right there, boys. And gals. Okay, so they can they can attack our place and they can gain it back, which sucks a lot. But I have no idea what the hell happened. Um, okay. Actually, let's go see what happened. Holy smokes. Um, let's try this. Guys are it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll just use my guys here to Okay, I still need I I finished. Alright, this is weird, I can't do anything. Odd. Okay. Alright, seems like I actually encountered a bug, which is fine. Um, <laughs> we'll just leave it at, at this for now. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll be posting a bit more videos about the game, missions and whatnot when I get a bit further. But do check it out the game right now. It just came out, early access. But these guys are really good developers and I know my buddy as well he's really really awesome he made Cosmicoria he worked on Slayaway camps as well so definitely check it out do support them if you can um, yeah. so I hope you enjoy I'll see you guys uh, in the next video